So hi guys, uh, it's Ron Suchu back again in my studio and this is the uh, fifth uh, video of the painting of Nicole Bellissimo, uh, USA uh, jumping champion three times. And uh, we're getting really close to the end of it all now and uh, I gotta apologize for the first few seconds of this, it's about just less than a minute. I've Somehow I've, uh, when I was uh, editing this, this video, I've, I've pixelated this piece of it. But anyway, you get the gist of what's going on is we're slapping in uh, some highlights for the uh, spotlight that you hadn't seen anything uh, in there before at all. It was just actually a dark line, but this has been planned from the get-go to have this highlight in here. And what it really does is it gives uh, uh, air between the hoof, the rear hoof, and the ground so that you know that the horse is actually in flight. It's, it's literally jumping over the uh, posts. Uh, and here's a fun thing right now, if you look at that one hoof, the right, the right hand hoof, I'm going to get to it in a second, uh, but uh, I've had several people walk in and say, well that hoof is going to actually hit the post and you don't really see it, but that hoof was actually uh, meant to um, be painted out on this side of the, the post after the post was done. So let me go through the post, we'll get all the posts done here and then you'll see a little piece of magic happen uh, that how I move that horse from being a foot too far back to a foot on the side of the post. Anyway, uh, going uh, into the black here, we're just trying to finish these posts off and uh, when I do these um, these uh, details, you know, you can see them, they're already uh, partially uh, blocked in there so I know where I'm going. And what I'll do is I'm going to rough them in fairly quickly and then again, uh, you've seen me all the way through here, I always say popping back and forth on the canvas. Uh, I will actually put these pieces in uh, and then you'll see me actually highlight them uh, back over by instead of doing one at a time like this, I actually go back and I try and highlight all, all four or whatever in a series. So that gives a continuity of those highlights again. So anyway, uh, we're actually, the video here is gonna be a fairly short one. I wanted to uh, uh, have only five videos, but we're gonna actually have a short one after. And I, I'm gonna be doing uh, Nicole's face. And that was the last thing I, I left for the painting uh, to be completed other than my signature, which is always the very last thing I do. But uh, when I, 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 I thought about this one, is it just doesn't seem to be compatible to this uh, video. So the last video might be three or four minute video, but I'm actually gonna do her face and, uh, and you'll see that go together just like we did with the Dan Aykroyd piece where I kinda uh, spent some real time. Now there goes that hoof. See, there was magic all of a sudden, bang. We went from background to the foreground. You know, it's funny, Bob Saul comes in here once in a while and he sees me working and, and he was one of the people, I think it was three people that said, you know, that horse's hoof is going to hit and I kind of chuckle every time somebody say, I didn't really tell him that that's actually planned to, to not be that way. So, but you see what happened and he actually said it was almost like the horse's, the, the joint of the horse's leg seemed to somehow move forward. Well, it didn't, the post to me more than anything, the post moved backwards a bit. But anyway, it's just fun. Oh, there's a little trick there. Uh, hey, you artist people, if you need to measure, just use, uh, I have my paintbrush there and I, I put my paintbrush sideways and I went from the tip of the paintbrush to whatever letter was showing up on the paintbrush because I thought that those two stripes looked like they were different sizes. And uh, you know, if you actually, if you left something as simple as that in this painting, uh, you would really, it would really show up. Uh, the, the viewer's mind's eye is very accurate so that when you do have an error and, and, it, and it seems to tell you there's an error, then you better check it really good because uh, everybody that walks up is going to have the same feeling. Now making these round is another thing too. If you watch really closely, I'll, uh, 
I start in the middle and I go to the edges and what I'm trying to do is make sure that they're the little point, I just did it, I did three points, three dots. And those three dots, there you go again, three dots. And that's actually telling me that the top and the bottom of that curve is actually gonna hit exactly the right spot. So the, the dot on the top is gonna to be exactly the same, uh, at the same measurement side to side as the dot on the bottom. And that gives you all of the accuracy you need. I'm using a wide brush, so I actually did the bottom right hand corner of those so that my wide brush will actually go in without going outside the lines, like when you're coloring when you're a kid. You don't want to go outside the lines. I did that once in this painting and I had to do a, a fix me up on it. So really going real fast there, getting the black in, just get in the black and uh, knowing that I want to do the highlights. So there we go with the highlights and I'm going to keep going back and forth on all four of these, hopefully. And, uh, and then ultimately they become fairly consistent. So every time I put a color on my brush, I actually seem to want to, it just tells me to go back and forth like that. So, and it's not quite there yet, but you will see as I go along that that becomes very consistent. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, the, uh, the next, the paint, the next uh, piece that we do will be the finish. And uh, I hope to, oh, here we go. There's what the piece is looking for like so far and now you see that highlight really shows up beautifully anyway thank you for coming by and uh, we'll get this thing finished next time around in the last video see you later guys take care